All right, you guys, we have Onyx out here. As you guys just saw in the video, it's an absolute terror on the leash, pulls us like crazy. I'm starting off with a slip leash and a collar just because I know that this guy is sensitive. We're gonna start out here because I know that all of you guys have an outside to work in. Some of you may go outside and your dog is in complete la-la land and you can't get their attention at all. Remember, this is normal, but we need to get the dog's motivation and engagement in order to teach them the heal. So we just wanna get his attention right here. Good, that's good intention, right? The good engagement. So as I'm moving around, what you're looking for when we talk about a dog engaged, he's not looking over there, he's not looking at the camera, he's not looking at you guys, he's looking at me. It's very clear that this dog is engaged with me. The moment you have that engagement is the moment you can start working. Then what we're gonna do is pick a side. I always tell people to handle on the left, but whatever side you decide to choose on, make sure you're consistent. Then let's talk about marking the heel. We need to be able to teach the dog what the command is. So marking is essentially saying the word heel or with me or whatever you guys wanna use at home, it doesn't matter. Onyx, heel, we're gonna say the dog's name and when the dog walks past us, we're gonna pop the leash and we're gonna work on our at, wrong move, buddy. He's not pulling as hard as he was, that's for sure, but he walked past me a little bit, pop, pop. We're gonna do that again. It's kind of like a fish hitting the string. You're gonna just feel this tug, tug. You're not gonna play tug of war with this dog's neck, mainly because it won't work. Onyx heel, one, two, three, four. Ah, ah, yes, buddy, good. Okay, break. And then I'm gonna break the dog out. Now, when you're breaking the dog, it's really, really important that you are changing everything about your body. Now, remember, dogs listen to body language and voice inflection. So when I'm telling him, Onyx, time to go to work and heel. My body is straight, I'm straightforward. My voice sounds a certain way, it's very neutral. And then when I break the dog, it's the exact opposite. It's like popping a water balloon. Psh, I'm letting everything out. Then we're gonna do small little increments. One, two, three, break and pay. You wanna start off small. Don't try to heal for a long period of time or distance because your dog is simply not prepared for it. This is where I see a lot of dog owners fail. They go outside and they try something that they're not prepared for. Now, what we're gonna do next is a tune-up or a warm-up. I've been doing this for ages. All this does is it calibrates the dog's attention towards you using an inside and an outside turn, something that's been highly effective for me and thousands of my clients. It's exactly how it sounds. Now we're gonna start off with it. Yeah, good engagement, good heel. Inside, good. Good heel, not good boy, because we're not teaching him boy, we're teaching him heel. Outside, Onyx heel. Yes, buddy. Now we're gonna work on our break. Onyx break. Good boy, engagement. Now it's important to understand how a collar works, how a slip leash, how a prong collar works. And if you don't know, it's very, very simple. Once the dog passes your leg, you're gonna use a pop on the prong or a pop on the slip leash. Now I'm gonna take this off and show you exactly what that looks like. So oftentimes what people do is the dog pulls, you pull back. This is tug of war. You will not win this tug of war. What you need to do is set your thresholds and your boundaries physically. As soon as the dog walks past whatever you decide, doesn't really matter, we're gonna pop the collar and we're going to correct the dog verbally, ah uh ah, -uh, or no, whatever you wanna use, you can say apples and tomatoes, but we're going to enforce it, right? So somebody robs the bank and we say, please no, or somebody jumps on you and you say, please get off, or if your dog runs away and you say, please come back, or if your dog is pulling you down the road and causing all sorts of injuries and craziness to your life, you say, please stop pulling. That doesn't work. That's a fairy tale that doesn't exist. We are here on this channel to teach you guys how to realistically train your dog, which is what we're doing with Onyx today. So now I'm gonna to try to do the final test where I'm gonna to try to heal him from here to here and back, and then I'm gonna break him after. And the next steps is simple. You're gonna add in more distraction, more durations, and more distance, the three Ds and all of the work that you're doing. And that goes for anything else in obedience world that you're doing. Onyx heal. Good heal, buddy. Now we're gonna go over some frequently asked questions. If the prong collar doesn't work or the slip collar doesn't work or whatever collar or leash setup that you're using, remember you guys have to understand how to use it. We are popping the collar. Once the dog fully extends and the leash is taut or the collar is taut, you lose all your leverage. Good heel, ah, 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 yes, buddy. See that check? Absolutely chef's kiss there. Gave him that verbal check, no leash pressure. He regarded, he yielded. Good, we're gonna go back heel. You guys have to work on engagement. Make sure your dog is paying attention to you or try to bring as much valuable things and motivation to the table absolutely as much as possible. Have your dog be hungry when they show up to train, make sure that they're into a ball, or if not, at least verbally pay them if they're doing a good job. And that is the introduction on teaching your dog how to walk nicely on the leash. We are doing a one-on-one -on -one virtual giveaway with me. All you guys have to do to enter to win is like this video, 
leave a comment in the comments below and turn on your notification bell. And the winner of last week's video is right here. Make sure that you guys DM us on Instagram, no bad dogs, in order to claim your prize. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next video.